what you're looking at is a um, new um, sink that was installed and on this new um, stone that um, you know it's like under mount the sink but anyway um, there are a few things that that um, I want you to invite you to <laughs> the, the first one is to kind of look at what we're gonna do to install the dishwasher because the dishwasher has to be installed obviously um, you know to the, to a drain and all that so that's gonna be a little separate it's gonna be a little more delicate because we need to use electricity sewer line and water line so those things are, are important um, the other thing is that when and you install this type of uh, um, you know uh, sinks you, you need to install in those two holes something called strainers now the strainers are these um, things that are here you know it's kind of fixtures that are here and uh, sometimes what happens is that if you put a garbage disposer you're going to need a different type of strainer so uh, it's a different situation a different type of style you make sure that you get the one that is for there also we have um, a hole over there single hole for a faucet we need to make sure that that faucet is installed uh, correctly too with the right hoses and everything and what you see all these pieces here are combinations this one will be the, the set for the T that is going to connect the two strainers to uh, the drain also a trap a trap is something that will keep the water inside there to avoid smells from coming out of the sewer line and other um, you know like little elbows and extensions because um, if you take a look over here we have the the drain color a little offset so you want to make sure that you have that um, you know connected properly so you have um, the, the water you know draining towards that the two the two drains draining towards the hole so um, that's what it is I'm gonna show you to make it nicer I'm gonna show you the, the, the process the steps that you need to take the two stringers that you're seeing here are the same uh, we are not using a garbage disposer that will be completely different I may do a video about it but in this case we are um, putting um, something called plumber's party uh, now the plumber's party that I'm using is stain free that means that for some uh, particular materials this thing will not leave you with the stains on the on, on the uh, fixtures so I will put a link so if you want to get it I will I will you know I will show you how to get it very simple on the description box and once you tie this thing you're gonna notice that you're gonna have some excess of, uh, of the putty coming out so you want to use a piece of uh, a piece of wood or a small little toothpick or something to clean it up and as you tie this in you may end up having um, uh, you know a little more excess of uh, material so once you put it on the bottom um, you want to go ahead and, and um, just tie these big nuts with a particular wrench I mean sometimes you can actually buy a wrench that is designed for this but if you're just gonna do it one time I recommend you not to get um, the, the, the strainer wrench um, um, so uh, you know clean up really well everything in this case we are using uh, an existing pipe this is a galvanized pipe and uh, what happens is that sometimes with the corrosion you are not able to put a nice seal on it so once I put this I'm not measuring everything because we want to make sure that we don't have a lot of excess amount of the pipe inside and for that you can actually use a, a PEX cutter or pipe cutter you want to be careful not to kind of crack all your, your pipe and if you don't feel comfortable with that you go ahead and use a hacksaw like the one that I have there so once it's there you you know normally you will have to put a little bit of Teflon on it because uh, it's just you know it gives you some trouble but um, you want to go ahead and start assembling all your parts these two elbows over here are symmetrical that means that they will be into a T and you know the same distance but because we're going to use a connection for the dishwasher we we went ahead and, and like preset everything and then we're going to start making the, the proper adjustments so we will be able to put that stuff uh, I, I suggest you that once you kind of measure where it's going to go just to kind of start assembling your trap and see how how deep it's going to go how you can move the angles because that will help you a lot so you see that it's going to bring back and forth the the, the trap on the base and that's because I want to do the stuff so once I, I know you know where it's gonna go and how deep it's gonna go I'm not gonna tie that at the end against the, the metal pipe I just want to go ahead and tie all this really well make sure again that when you cut this thing you cut it carefully so maybe using a hacksaw will be the best idea if you're not practical you don't have some sort of practice with the other thing um, 
so you know this is this is the part where you just go ahead and you know cut the little pieces make sure that you have excess and you have room to play so you don't want to cut it too short too precise you want to have in, enough so you can actually play it in that stuff you start tying everything in notice that i have that, that pipe in a particular way facing up the one that is going to connect the dishwasher is really important and once you're ready you know that everything's in place you want to go ahead and kind of put the teflon touching that uh, washer that is going to go inside a washer always going to have the thinner part towards the towards the next uh, piece and then go ahead and use you know use your hand to tie this really well um, be careful when you're putting this this thread so you don't want to portion too much again uh, remove that little excess with uh, with a toothpick or you know piece of uh, I'm using a wood shim so that way I don't scratch the surface sometimes now that the piping is, is finished, all the drain line is connected, all well, the drain lines are connected, including the dishwasher. Um, if you haven't seen this video, I suggest you to take a look at the video how to install that dishwasher. So, but all the connections are right. That doesn't mean that they all fine. I mean, they are tied um, by hand in some areas uh, only, and the one over there, I may need to put a little more pressure, but before I put pressure, I want to make sure that everything uh, works fine, just by, just by you know using your and strength. Um, now uh, that we have all that connected, we want to go ahead and test it. How are we going to test it? Uh, very simple. We're going to put some water into the system, into the system, you know, two areas, and with good pressure, we want to go ahead and release the pressure. And, and you know, by having the help of this light over here, we want to go ahead and take a look underneath and see if everything works well. If not, we need to do the appropriate uh, adjustment just by tying and maybe putting a little Teflon or something like that. So let's continue. Have with you some um, paper towels or, or some rags because you may end up having because you have so many nuts, so many connections. You may end up having like in this case some some leaks, and the reason is that if it's if it's uh, leaking like that, it may be that something has to be obviously tied and stuff like that. But you don't get too frustrated because if you put too much pressure with a wrench, you may end up damaging the threads because now we have a metallic part and a plastic part, and sometimes they just give up. So uh, go ahead and test it again. I noticed that after you know tying it up with my hand, fastening a little bit more with my hands, uh, it start kind of dripping just a little bit. So I went ahead and just kind of loose the, the the nut itself, and I put some Teflon in between the washer and the elbow. Um, so by wrapping it around, you will have some sort of a cushion seal that maybe because there's some sort of deformation um, and. Um, into the you know the strainer itself so go ahead and test it again and um just you know um be uh patient with the with the system uh it may be that you you know one try you can actually remove that stuff but don't don't fall into the the temptation of just kind of putting too much pressure in a way your with your wrench because you may end up damaging the piece you need to buy it again so you know you can now see that everything is nice and clean and there's no drips over there then you can continue with your process now um you can see the way it looks like it's a cool um configuration um you saw that we had to kind of shift the t on the side so we can put the other t right here or the y that will bring uh, the water from the dishwasher into the system um, um, that line over there you saw that was kind of leaking a little bit so what I did is that I put Teflon in between the washer and the metallic part so you have to be a little curious about that part but uh, overall it looks good now it's not leaking anymore and everything is nice and dry um, you know you right away notice if you have little spots there especially if you have light so they will just kind of reflect a lot um, again, it took me, this is not like, oh, I just did it and everything was well, no, it took me to fasten that one a little bit more. Any excess of the, of the, um, uh, putty that you put there, you just want to go ahead and remove it. As, you know, some hot temperature may just remove a little bit more, but that should be fine. So, thank you so much for watching, I hope this video will bring you some value. Um, to the knowledge that you're acquiring, I suggest you to take a look at more videos, if you have, like, a disposer or something like that. But overall, um, you know, I'm kind of pleased with the work that I did over here. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like it. If you have comments, please go ahead and do them. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you want to see a lot more content and you want to follow my channel, please subscribe here and 
why not to see this, this or that video. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.